Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on how to make iPhone ring tones and text tones. Alright, the first thing we're going to get into here is you can open up your iTunes. Now you're going to want to go to the left top corner. You're going to go to preferences. First thing you're going to want to check is to make sure that you have tones clicked on, because sometimes on iTunes it just has it clicked off and then it'll get a little annoying if we don't have that on. So then you want to go to import settings, make sure you're on AAC encoder right here at the top, and then hit OK, hit OK, and now you're ready to select the song that you want to use. First thing you do when you find a song is you're going to right click and then go get info right here. Then you're going to want to go to options, and then now you can select the time on how you want your song to start in or and then I'm stopping and this is for um, so because you can only have about 30 seconds to a ringtone and then about like five seconds to like a text tone because for some reason it I don't know why but it just messes up on the iPhone sometimes sometimes it doesn't so anyways once you figured that out what part of the song you want to start and end at that you want for your ringtone you hit OK and then you go right click again and go create AAC version. After it's done that, it's going to give you a little ding, ding little ring there to let you know that you did it. Now, what you're going to want to do is, is take the new one that you just created, which if you notice it's 30 seconds because that's how much I want on it. You're going to take that and drag it on your desktop. Alright, now it's on the desktop. Next thing you're going to want to do is rename. We're going to change M4A to M4R. And what this does is it turns it into a ringtone file. It's OK. Just hit yes. And there you go. Now you have your ringtone file. Next thing we're going to want to do, like I said earlier, make sure we have uh, that tone thing checked in for references. You're going to want to go to your tones. You're going to drag that file to your tones. And then if you get your iPhone or iPod connected, you drag it in, and bam, you're done. It'll be under your tone section and your general settings on your iPhone. And that's how it's done. It's super easy, super simple. No crazy programs you got to buy. No crazy apps you got to buy. All right. I hope you all take this to account and enjoyed it.